Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is the difference between at the rate before method and at the rate before test annotations? Let me answer. First of all, these two annotations, that is at the rate before method and at the rate before test annotations belong to testng library. So what is the difference? If you specify these annotations before a method, then what is going to happen? If you specify this at the rate before method on the top of a particular method inside a class, this method is going to run before every test method inside that class. Okay, no matter how many test methods are there inside that class, this at the rate before method specified method is going to run as a setup code, okay, to run the setup code before running every test method, okay? If there are five test methods, before every test method, five of the test methods runs, this before method will run. Then second test method, before it runs, before method will run. Third, before the third test method runs, at the rate before method, specified method will run. Like that for every test method inside the class, before it runs, the before method will run, okay? Before method, specified method will run. What about before test? It will run before all the test methods which are specified inside the test tag in testng XML file. For example, here, this is a testng project. Here we have the testng XML file. Here we have two test uh, tags inside this uh, testng XML file. So before the test methods inside this uh, one of the test tag runs, okay, if you have specified this annotation, before test annotation in one of the test methods inside this uh, test tag, then, before any of these methods, test methods inside the test tag runs, that particular method specified with the before test is going to run. Let me practically demonstrate this for you. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where we have this uh, sample testng project. Now, uh, what I will do is I'll just go to here. You see, if I run this testng XML file, test uh, test dot demo will run, test dot demo two will run. These two classes will run. Demo contains three test methods. I think so. Yeah. What about the other one? Uh, one minute. Uh, the other one is demo2. Two. Demo2 two contains two test methods. So what I'm going to do is in the demo.java, in the demo.java here, I'll create a test method, public void. Uh, I'll create a setup code kind of method, okay? A method which contains some setup code, okay? So public void, uh, I'll say, uh, sample method for setup like this, I'll say setup uh, code running. You can give any name, no problem. I'm just giving this lengthy name, that's okay. And before this method, I'll provide before method annotation. So this before method annotation when specified before this method makes this particular method run before every test method, okay? How many test methods are there? Sample test one, sample test two, sample test three. Before every each and every of this test method runs, this before method is going to run. Hold the mouse on this and import it from testng library. Here, write down some, okay, uh, sample print statement, just to see whether it is running or not. Setup code has run, okay? Setup code has run. How many times this separate setup code has run will be printed in the output console, we'll see. Before every test method, this setup uh, method will run. Uh, there are three test methods. So before every of these uh, test methods, this setup code has run. Sample one, uh, sample test one got executed. Setup code got has run. Sample test two got executed. Setup code uh, has run. Sample test three got executed. Like that, it will work. Okay. Let me run this. Let me run the test and XML file. I specified the before method only in the test dot demo class. I didn't specify here. So only for these three test methods before. Each and every of the three test methods in the demo class only that setup code will run as a predict, uh, I mean, before every test method. But here I have not specified, so it is not going to work. Uh, right click run as a testing switch. Just see the output for the, each and every test method here in the demo class. Before that, the setup code will run. So there is a problem. Mm, what is the problem? Let's see. Test change the exception. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, two tests in the same suit cannot have the same name. Yeah, yeah. Here I have to say test one. Here I'll say test two. Okay, if you have the same name, it's not going to allow. That is a problem. Okay. Run as. You see here what's going to happen. You see, before sample test one, setup code has run. Before sample test three, setup code has run. Before sample test two, setup code. But for the other two test methods which are inside the different class, okay, uh, that is not working. Before, because before method is only specified in the demo class, okay? Now what I'll do here is uh, I'll just specify this, uh, instead of before method, I'll just mention before test. And this before test is only mentioned inside the demo class, okay? This before test, Annotation is mentioned before a method only inside the demo class, uh, which is part of which test? This test one. But in test two, it is not specified. So only for test one, it is going to work. Before any of the test methods inside the test one test tag work, runs, the setup code will run once. And after that, all the, all the methods inside this, all the methods. Here we can have multiple classes also if you want, okay? Like this also, it's okay, okay? In one of the class inside this, uh, you know, in one of the test method in one of the class of this uh, test tag, uh, we have this specified, okay, before test. So it will run before this test tag, okay. So after that, all the test uh, methods inside this uh, classes in mentioned in the test tag will work or run, okay. So only one time it will run in the beginning. Before any of the test methods inside the demo or demo 2 will run, setup code will run. You see, setup code has run remaining all test methods got executed from both the classes that are mentioned inside this test tag. If you have any other test tag, it will not work there, okay? So for example, here demo three, I'll say, demo three, okay? So first I'll mention demo three. Sorry. Search. I'll just uh, cut this and paste it here in the order so that uh, dem this uh, test uh, two will run first. And before this uh, test methods inside the demo three, what is there in the demo three? Let's see any test methods are there. No, let's create a test method public void. Public void sample test uh, six, whatever it is. Okay, at the rate test. For the mouse import. Inside sample test six. Otherwise, sample test six. Got executed. Got executed. Let's see. Now, if I run this test in the XML file, but uh, that particular thing that is uh, this before test annotation is specified in one of the classes. Okay, in one of the classes of this uh, second test tag, so it's not there in the, uh, it's not specified in the any of the class of the first test tag. There is test two test tag. It's not there. So setup code will run only before the test methods inside these two classes. Okay, of this test tag, whereas here it is not going to run before. Okay, so run it. Sample test six will run first. Sample test six got executed. After that, you see only for the second test tag, only for the second test tag, the before uh, uh, test method got executed. Okay, in whichever the test tag you provided, before all the test methods inside that particular test tag, this uh, before test uh, annotated method will run as a setup code. So hope guys you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.